<laughs> DJ Robert! What's going on, brother? What's going on? What's going on? Pick up the set, mommy. What's up? Hi, good evening to you, my brother. How are you? How are you, how are you doing? God bless. It's a blessing to be on RVR Radio for the first time. Yes, it's also a pleasure having you. And I hope that, you know, at the end of this interview, I don't like to say interview, at this talk, rather. We're going to have yeah. a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one talk. Well, one-on-two. Because Robert is going to join to as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I hope that somebody will be blessed, you know, by the words that you have to, you know, to share with us this evening. Because you know that... Yeah. We, as a children of God, we always must have a word to share, you know, what the Lord has been doing, you know, because he's always doing yeah. something in the lives of his people. Amen. Amen. All right. So, you know, to get things off, um, just tell us a little about who Jason Mighty is. Well, uh, Jason Mighty is um, uh, a young man who um, grew up in a country part of Jamaica called uh, Lindsay St. Catherine. Um, I was born uh, and raised by a, a, a single mother. Um, you know, my, my mom of eight kids included. I don't know if you guys know the prodigal son is my brother, my blood brother. Yeah. Man. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, we grew up in the community, um, very poor and in an impoverished life. Uh, you know, because she, she didn't have it, have it. So she tried to find food to feed us. She get pregnant with one, try again and get pregnant with one until I end up, you know, she end up with eight, eight kids. Right. Um, I was given away, I was given away, uh, three times. Um, you know, because she couldn't, she couldn't afford to keep me. So she gave me away. And, uh, you know, I was just from host host all over the place, giving away. Right. And, you know, I mean, long and short story, you know, I mean, God have a purpose in our lives. You know, there's so many times that I could have, uh, I could have died. You know, there's so many story I could tell when, when, um, I could lost my life. People could have killed me. I end up in situation when I was younger, you know, fall off of, off of the back of a truck. You know what I mean? And my 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 finger itching the in the back of the truck, and I was drawing on the floor. You know what I mean? At the age of ten, drawing for being about half a mile, and uh, you know, I, there's so many things. You know what I mean? But as we go down in the interview, we talk more. But Jason Mighty is just a guy who grew up in a country part of Jamaica, poor, didn't have nothing at all. But God have a purpose of my life in all of that. Amen, amen, amen. All right, my brother, how did you? um coming to doing ministry where, where or how, how did you come to start doing ministry well um at the age of 16 years old um you know grow um in in in, in, in Linstead, um uh sometime i didn't go to school sometime i go um you know and i didn't have a father my father i uh, moved in the united states and leave for a while and i've all i'll take up all his kids there um you know and i was left in jamaica to suffer so I grew up with a very bitterness about my father. I didn't like him. So my dream and aspiration was to kill my father growing up, right? And so I was pursuing that. And so I ended up um, leave Lindsay and come to Kingston. And when I came to Kingston, I ended up on a work site. And on, on the work site, um, all the guys who I was working with was like guys like me who didn't have a father. So I have some bunch of guys who never have a father, who bitter, who hateful, you know, trying to father me, right? So you know how... Oh, 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 what I started to smoke and drink and just get, you know, started to sell weed. I started to save for buying my gun and just doing all that type of stuff, you know. And um, long and short, so at one point, I almost started traffic drugs. You know what I mean? God um, God saved me before that. I got saved in, in, in 1999, the end of the end of about October, right before the beginning of 2000, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I was about to start the secular music at that exact year. That exact year when God saved my life, and I accept. I went. I went to a school because I, I was went to an evening class to learn to read, because I couldn't read, right? I didn't go to school, so I, I went to the evening class to learn to read and write. And then, um, while I was there, me and my friend smoking, um, there was a young man who, who was there sharing, sharing his faith with his friends. So I was so bitter in my heart about the about the about the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't want to hear nothing about Christ because I was in myself saying, God, if oh can you love me? Oh can Jesus Christ is love when I grew up so rejected, given away, abused, used, you know, my father leave me to suffer, right? Um and, and so I didn't want to hear, so I run them away, I shun them and you know what I mean. But God know that I was so bitter, I was so I was so rough and tough that he needed someone to reach me in my state. And this young man was 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 just got saved, uh, and was a gunman, right? And uh, 
the, the young man came over to me and, and he started just to rebuke me in a rough way. My you tell me if you know yourself. Jesus Christ, love you. He might call you, I know you're bitter. You're not going no farther. You know, I'm going to take my glass and the same thing. I'm coming on the youth and watch them thing and hear me. Yeah, yes, man. Yes. Right? And, you know, God know exactly what he need to say to me to reach me. Yeah. Right? And he said to me, the young man said, my, you tell me if you know yourself. And the man have him gone finger like this. Can you just get saved? You know, you know, you know. <laughs> DJ Robert, you don't want to polish it. Yeah, right? yeah. He never polish. So he have him gone thinking and he joke me like this. He said, if you know yourself, Jesus Christ, love, love you. you. He might call you. You're not good, no father. The man have prophesied to me, Bridget. Wow. And I said, Mike, if you know yourself, Jesus, love you. He want to save you. He want to use you. Right? And brother, let me tell you something, um, brother, sister. I stood there and I start, I was smoking a, mar a spliff in my hand and the spliff burned out. My friend then gone left me. Mm. Because a lot of time we, we a lot of time we, 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 we tend to follow friends and pull up on friends when God call we and I went when the friends gone and we and God alone left. Right? My friend them disappeared left my brother and we we burn out of me and the man talked to me and course to wash me and feel like a magnet. It's like a magnet literally hold me at the spot I was. Wow. I couldn't move. I couldn't speak. I couldn't do nothing. Wow. The Lord Jesus Christ held me in, in prison, literally. Right? And that night I leave out on my way home. And on my way home, I started crying out to the name of the Lord. I said, Lord Jesus Christ, if you're real, if you're real as, as this young man speak about you, God, I didn't care, Robert, uh, my sister. Uh, traffic filled the road at the time and, and, and man into the road. I don't know if you know man into the road, yes. right? Yeah. And traffic pulled that road and I was crying out to Jesus Christ. Right, and I didn't care. People were looking at me like I was crazy. But that night, the Lord Jesus Christ Himself come on and changed my life. That night, you know, I got saved that same night. I took out my four years ring. I used to wear four years ring. I used to have a bag of naked picture in my room. A girl give me and wool it for weed in my room and on my bed. I'm just empty out everything. And that night, I decided I'm gonna follow Christ. And that was 2000, right? And you know, we can talk more about it. But I get to I go to church and I get baptized, and that was it for me. You know. Amen, amen. Wow, powerful, powerful. I tell you, Jason, when it's your when the Lord says your time is your time, you know, boy. You, 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 just, <laughs> you, you just can't do anything else but just to surrender to him at that time. Amen. Amen, bro. So Jason, tell us about the journey that you have been through in regarding ministry now. Music what are said some of the setbacks and how, how you have overcome them? Well, um, let me tell you, uh, after that. Um, because I remember I told you I was, I, I was trying to get, I was going to, I was going to do a secular. I was going to be big in secular because at that time I was singing some stuff where people, well, let me tell you the truth is, where my father was singing on where, yeah, where, where Vegas was singing at the time, Sing J. I was, I was the one doing that, right? I was doing that and I was singing on the streets and I was singing gun song and about girls and stuff. And there was a big producer at the time that was working with Lexus and, um, uh, uh, so many of the big artists at the time, um, Kipridge and those guys, was going to work with me, right? Mm -hmm. So I was just about to get my secular break when God saved me, right? And so anyway, you know, God never takes something, when God takes something from you and gives you something better. Amen. So what happened is, mm -hmm. um, when I get saved, you know, I started to do my ministry and I started to, started on, on my church. I started to, in a ministry called Soldiers of Christ, you know, went down the road to feed the poor and, you know, take care of the youth them. And uh, Prodigal at the time was, was huge in uh, I Wish and stuff like that. And I went to see Prodigal one time, you know, to visit him and just talk to him and Praddy. And I, I was just singing to Praddy and I said, yo, GSC, yo, you're bad, you know. And then bring me to Danny Brownie at the time. Danny Brownie was, was, was working with Praddy. Yeah. And that's how I ended up in music at that time. Because when I got to Danny, Danny hear me and say, yo, Jason, come in, come start record. You know, and my name, Jason Mighty, I started put my name and I started record. And, you know, everything I taught DJ Robert is just gold for me from there. Right. And, you know, we just record Danny Brown was working at Yo Tree, Yo, Yo, I think Yo Two at the time. And I started a voice for it. Moses Gallimore, Ryan Mark, right. DJ Nicholas, me, Chevel Franklin, Papa San Jump and Stitchy. You know, all of us was in one camp, right? Um, um, Christy D, you know, I mean, Junior Tucker. We all it was at one big family at the time. Gaddy Gaddy, right. you know, um, and stuff like that. And so we started to do music and, 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 and you know, bro. I can tell you, man, everything I touch, I can tell you, everything I touch, you know, God bless it. It just started to go worldwide. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I, and stuff like that, bro. You know? 
I, I remember your, your first album, man. That, that was a good album, bro. It was well, well put together. Still one of yeah. my favorites. Still one of my favorites up until now. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening, you know? Yeah, um, my brother, you know, um, I know that you were doing some time ago. I know I saw it a few times. You like you were doing an online yeah. ministry. Yeah. Yeah, how is that going for you right now? Well, it's a, it's a thing called virtual trip of Thursday the Lord. Yeah, well, like, um, uh, mm-hmm. in the pandemic when everything mm-hmm. locked down, the Lord uh, laid on my heart uh, that we need to share a testimony more. Because I was always one of those guys who, because of the testimony, I have always shared my testimony and it always reached. A lot of people, a lot of people get saved on my ministry for my testimony. So it's a passion for me to, to, to have to share my testimony. So God lay on my heart to reach out to, 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 for us as gospel artists and, and music ministers and DJs and, um, you know, musicians, you know, and to share the testimony. Because I'm going to call a DJ Robert soon, right? And, um, and, and I, st- I started and I didn't know what God was doing. When I just started. You know what I mean? I, I kind of discard because I thought that I would get more support from the from the arena, from the kingdom. I didn't get the online support I wanted, so I almost stopped. Until one day, because I started with DJ Nicholas, and, and then after I think I got prodigal, and one day I went to my page, and people started messaging me. People from all over the world, from Germany, from you know, from Africa, started messaging me because what people say is download. The, the, the life that I do, I started to share it back in the church and put it back in radio station, put it on TV station. And I didn't know that it was reaching people all over the world, right? And so I was just watching the little that I see and the life, but I wasn't knowing what God was doing on the, on the background, right? And so I say, you know what, I, I jump and I just started doing it again and I started doing it. And it's called virtual job actors and it's just simple. We as gospel artists, as I say, we just went out there and we just simple open up and share where we're coming from to where we are now. And it's just what a wonderful ministry the Lord has given to me, you know. So I try to skip every now and then. I'm so busy, you know, I try to do every, every other week or so. But it's something that I got to keep going, you know. It's really powerful. Yeah, man. Show back to us. I come, I come on now and again when I reach home early from work and check it out. Um, Just check your yeah. microphone and get in a little bit of uh, distortion there. Your voice kind of changed a little bit when you were talking. Just want to Sorry see, about that. Just want to see if everything is all right on that side. Yeah. Everything okay here? Yeah, we're still, we're still hearing it. When you were on the couple of minutes ago, it was fine, but now it's kind of a little bit. Hello? It's a little better. Little better. Brother. Okay. All right, uh, good. Yes. Yeah, there it is. There it yes. is. I heard it back again. You can go ahead now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's continue the 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 chat that we have been having. It has been a blessing. I see a lot of persons on on um YouTube saying you know they're loving their testimony your testimony and it's been a yeah. it's been a blessing to them and you know just to to, to continue we. You you have been working on have you been working on any albums right now? Well, um, actually, most of the songs that that um that uh, uh DJ Robert just playing those worship reggae songs, most of them are gonna be on this album. I'm doing I'm right, right now. I'm in I'm in the studio right now. Right now in Ajax, in Canada, in the studio because I'm doing a, I'm doing a studio session right now, and um, I'm working on my I'm working on my fifth album right now that I'm supposed to release. By the end of August or the middle of August, somewhere there, right? And uh, so I'm in the I'm in the process of doing songs and a lot of collaborations and a lot of a lot of dance songs, a lot of worship, lots of song, right? And it's gonna be a wonderful album. I'm so excited about this one because, um, you know, it's gonna be different. You know, I'm looking forward to that. Yes, we here at RVR 24/7 is looking forward for that too. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, you know, I, I thank you guys for support always. You know. So, so t- my brother, tell us about, um, you know, say you're working on your album. Some persons have, uh, you know, told us that when they're doing albums, you know, they encounter, um, you know, sometimes roadblocks. They encounter, you know, some things that, you know, that w- that's working against them and all of that. What has your experience been doing this? Because I know, you know, during the pandemic, a lot of things, you're not getting like shows, you're like concert, you're, most of the things that are going on are like online and all that, that now. And persons, you know, it's a challenge for some persons. 
So tell us how the working on this album has, you know, always affected you so far during this pandemic. Well, let me, let me say this to you, my sis. Um, uh, for me, every album I did, I did by faith. Everyone. Um, because, you know, in the regular gospel community, we we, 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 uh, we don't have a big... Um, uh, we, yes, we, we ministry is wide, but in terms of the financial uh, gain from album, we don't get it at the American industry. The American industry is huge, right? The, the Americans who buy more music versus we, our, our audience is most Caribbean people or, you know, a lot of Africans and they download the music and take it, you know, free, right? Which we're not, we're not we, which I would complain about that because we would love to, would love to get more support from the um, on sale, online sales and, and, and purchase, but it's still a gospel, right? So, uh, every album I do is always my faith. You know what I mean? I move by feet, I just start to work. Because it's never, because we try to do the album, especially, let me speak about me. I try to do my album as professional as, as possible. And it costs money. It costs a lot of money. A lot, you know, it costs sometimes thousands of dollars of US dollars. Thousands of dollars US dollars. It costs just to get the album done professionally, mix, master, um, you know, get proper production, you know, and stuff like that. Good artwork. It costs thousands of US of dollars. So it's never easy. You know what I mean, and, to, and, and stuff like that. So it's always adversity, but you know the Lord, the Lord always comes through. You know God, always, God, the Bible says you move by faith and not by sight. You know, and faith to those works is dead. Amen. So therefore, when you're doing something, you gotta step out. Even though you know, so the money sometimes you step out and start work, and then by me start work, you see God send this year, send that year. But some sometimes people send a truck. Right now I'm working at Corey Clark in Jamaica, and he's not even charging me half of what he should have charged me. Wow, right, that is good. because I stepped out by faith. Right, I'm working with that journey in Canada. I'm not paying what I should. I'm working with DJ Shane. I'm working with so many of our production producers all over the world, and they're not charging um, what what I should have paid. But why? Because I stepped out by faith. Right, if I sit down and say, "Oh God, you know, I, I can't give you ministry," that's like DJ Robert. I know DJ Robert ministry. I know DJ Robert testimony. You know, he stepped out so many times by faith. He could have given up long time. Right now, he has a radio station. Right, because he decided to step up by faith. Amen. You guys, right? Yes, yes. Indeed. Praise is the you know what I mean? So, yeah. amen. So, it's always obstacles and, and stuff like that. But we decide to keep going. And uh, with, with or without money, uh, my calling is to sing the gospel of Jesus Christ. With or without money, I'm going to keep doing it until I leave. I take my last breath. That is my aim and that is my goal and that my motto. Amen, amen, amen. amen. I know, just to add to that, you know, we, we us as Christians, children of God, you know, we, we ought to remember that we are not our own. We belong to Christ. And if he says Amen. that, he's going to supply all our needs. He's not a man that he will lie. So, you know, sometimes when we worry, it's just, I mean, just a waste of time to worry about things that we cannot change. When we know our God is no bigger than anything. Amen. 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 Yeah, so, sure. so I just want to encourage, you know, somebody even during this interview that, you know, whatever it is, you know, sometimes you want to do a business. Sometimes you want to go to school, whatever it may be. You know, sometimes you don't see the money. Most for most of us, we don't see the money with the resources, how you're going to do it. But, you know, encouraging somebody yeah. today, just step out by faith and the Lord will do the rest. Yeah. That's all he asks of us. Just yes. step out by faith. Because he said, if you have a faith as small as a mustard, mustard seed. seed. They can say to the mountain, you know, go and throw yourself into the sea. And it does and Amen. the mountain does it. Yes. So you know, step out by faith. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna feature um one of your latest tracks. Latest tracks. Which is still of your love. Right. And, and we talk about rhythm. Right. And that so, journey. Let's do it. Jason Mighty, tell of your love. If you're just joining us, welcome. DJ Shana, see your blessing family, Sister Cutie, Double D. <laughs> I 
Cartel, one of my favorites off the top board with him. Yeah. You see, you see how the chat room I get light up right now. Let me see some fire emoji on this one for Jason Mighty. Hey, the man ready to be singing, you know? <laughs> Peace be my peace, I'm asking you today. Feel my grief, feel my grief. This is your Robert. I can't do without you. Loving this one, man. Tell you, fire emoji all the way. Yeah. <laughs> this is the high pitch stuff, DJ Marker. All right, here you go. In the wilderness, in the quiet place. We are talking to somebody this evening now. Hold your hand yeah. while I seek your face. Hey! I know this, this journey is getting harder every day. Every day. I feel what I'm learning to trust you more every day. Everybody say. I'm a girl going out to you. 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 I'm asking you right now. Right now. Feel my peace, feel my peace. I'm asking you today. Heal my grief, heal my grief. You always make a way. Try to kill me without you. I'm missing you without you. I'm already trying to know you. Yes, sir. Uh, me can't do without you. Oh, me if we do without you, that's a, that, 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 to me, that's the, the main lines in those songs. They really stand out and they are, you know, they speak to your heart. Oh, me if we do without oh, God. So, my brother, you yeah, know, this song, this song is really, and it's not only is it catching, but it speaks to each and everyone. You understand that we Amen. can't do without Amen. God. Amen. But what I want to find yes. out, though, what's the inspiration yeah. behind this song? Well, um, to be honest with you, uh, I was thinking about Can Walk. I have a song called Can Walk. Life Alone, if you remember that song. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, so, you know, uh, the message I want to send in this album, I want to send, because I, I know that even in this time, in the COVID situation, right, I was thinking about some of my songs and what, you know, what new could I write to, to impact people. Mm. And uh, I see what people's going to do. People scatter all over the place. People's mind is not here. People is wondering about the vaccine. People is wanting so much. And the Bible, you know, the Lord said in the word of God that, listen, don't worry about tomorrow. Because mm. tomorrow will take, will take care of itself, right? Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Don't don't, don't worry what, what you're going to eat, how you're going to drink. You know, a lot of people lost their job. A lot. So when I was thinking about um, the rhythm, I was thinking about those things, that what people are going to do even when the, when the place open up back. What are people going to do? People need word of encouragement to keep them going, you know? Yes, so yes. that the whole inspiration about the, around, around the song is that, is that where you're coming from, the COVID, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. So, um, you know, I'm here and I'm looking, you know, as you're talking and I'm, you know, I'm reflecting back on your testimony, how you live a, you know, a, a poor life and all that. But look at you now. Mm. Amen, 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 amen. God is, God is good. I remember, sister, I remember the days when um, I used to go to, when I used to go to school, uh, I used to 
go with a with a with a scandal bag in my hand, right? My mommy could not, you know, never have any choice, right? She gave me a scandal bag. The other days I used to go to school without shoes on my feet. Um, you know, Christmas when I would see everybody, you know, in a brand new pair of clothes, I would get undone from people. You know what I mean? And then uh, the same friends who I, who I would take something from would would tell them friend that I'm wearing their clothes. Okay. You know what I mean? So yes. uh, it, it, there's so much depth to my testimony. Um, you know what I mean? But what I'm saying, I just want to encourage somebody today that listen to me. Um, it doesn't matter where you are, because today I can buy, I can buy any, any amount of shoes I want to buy. Yeah, I can, I can buy a nice car to drive. I can take care of my kids. I can take care of my wife. You know what I mean? I can live a life. You know what I mean? And and it's all because of God, not because of me. Amen. Not because of me, because you know, because of what God has taken me from. And um, you know, my testimony, God allowed me to go through where I go through in life, so I can be able to tell someone that listen, Amen. you're not forgotten. Amen. You are Amen. not forgotten. Amen. You are not forgotten. It doesn't matter how hard it is. Right now, I, I'm grieving because my sister died Tuesday, right? Or condolences, and, bro. Yes, my sister, I will ask my, my, my sister, who, who, when my mother got sick, she was a mother to us. And, you know, she was there for us. And, you know, we just, I just want to let them, someone know that you're not forgotten, no matter how far you see yourself, how deep in the gutter you are. Yes. You know, mm. you are not forgotten. God is able. Amen. What an encouragement. I tell you, it's summertime right now. I pay a giant I'm fine for that summer. Hey, hey. Big up the Almighty in that summer. Oh, oh. Life is a blessing we live in that summer. This summer. Never see a summer like this. It's a summer. Yeah. It's a meet and a great bad mind get the fate for your heat and we feel complete. So I set on the music up cause everybody ready. We ready. The man the junk up on the room, we not gonna spin a pain. It's a summer song, so everybody come along. Cause we have one about ten thousand strong. Oh. The summer is the bragging. Enjoy it to the end. Everybody excited. No one no fighting. This place is burning. We're praising all night and it's not enough. Turn it up. Please, Jesus. Calm down. <laughs> my brother, my brother, I tell you. <laughs> my brother, you know, we're winding down, but we want to just want you to just tell our listeners where when the album is coming. Just remind us when the album is coming out again and where we can go to purchase. Well, uh, my aim, my to be honest, let me tell you something. I'm working on this album and I don't even I don't, I don't even um uh, uh make up my mind what I'm gonna call the name of the album because the way it's so diverse and the way I feel this is gonna be one of my best albums. The way it's so diverse and the songs that the Lord has given me, I still seeking God for, for the name of the album. But I know my my I'm targeting the end of Ju- the end of July or the beginning of August, or the middle of August somewhere there. So I don't I'm not sure as yet. Because we still have a lot of work to do, mm-hmm. and uh, I still want to complete it. But it's gonna be all over all of the social media. It's gonna be all over the online store, you know, YouTube. It's gonna be on, on e music, Napster, Rhapsody, um, iTunes. It's gonna be on on Spotify. It's gonna be all over the place, right? Mm-hmm. Because we're not gonna do no physical CD because you know physical CD not selling anymore. So we have so we have a, we have an idea what we're gonna do that I'm not gonna leak it as yet. But you know, it's gonna be all over the place. All of a lot of video coming. I'm gonna do at least three or four video for this album, and it's gonna be just huge. I'm gonna go go all out for Christ with this one. Amen. Amen. Lord, you're merciful, Lord, you're compassionate. Listen, more and don't interview me. I don't need. I got big man. Look at my Pan. Look at my Pan, Jason. Little J. You get on big J, no boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Jesus, calm down. I tell you, if I follow oh, DJ Robert, we don't end this interview. But, you know, <laughs> you know, my DJ brother. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to ask you. I always ask my the persons that I interview each week, you know, just to pray before we go. And, you know, we, we want to, whatever we do, and, you know, God is in it, we want to seal it with a prayer. Amen, right? So before amen. we go, amen. I'm going to ask you to pray. And as you go, we're just going to ask you to do your favorite song, a cappella for us. I don't know which one you're going to choose. I know it's a lot, but yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, one I thing that comes to me today, today I share a message on my social media. I don't know if you guys see it, but the Lord dropped something in my spirit today because I was just reflecting over my sister. Before I go, I was going to say it in a couple of minutes. Um, the Lord reflects something to me that when, you know, the scripture said, what can it, what can it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? Right? Sometimes we take it so lightly. And I'll share on my social media. You know, you will call somebody. You will see somebody today. Call them. You know, and the next minute you hear that, you hear from them, gone. Right? And when they're gone, there's no more. You can't call them again. You can't text them again. You can't send an email. You can't do nothing. They're gone forever. Right? And um, the only way we're going to see that person is by, by um, if they're in heaven, is live a life for Christ to make it. If mm -hmm. not, they're in hell. Right? I just want to share this quickly because I know you guys are so big on evangelists. You know, we know we, we, we sing and we dance. So our listeners right now, we sing and we dance and we do all of this and we do everything, but it's for mm -hmm. Christ. And I just want to encourage somebody today, anybody who's watched, watch with Justin and watch a testimony, you feel like you want to know the Jesus Christ we're talking about, the Jesus who changed my life, the Jesus who take me from my little ghetto part of Jamaica, a little country part, a little youth when never have nothing and take me and make me worldwide. Put me worldwide he's yes. available he loves you he, he, he the bible say come to him in the open arms he's willing to save you and to change your life Amen. and even though as we leave just want to pray for you right now father we just thank you lord god for anyone who listened today god and lord you have touched them lord god almighty anybody who in the kingdom god who's living shady and god you encourage them even out to just have a fire for you right now god we pray that the fire of the lord jesus christ Hallelujah. will rest on someone God, I pray that DJ Robert and his wife, ministry, God, will go wide and big and keep in impacting souls, God Almighty, for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. We ask you right now, God, that you may just reach somebody with your spirit. Because you said, no one come unless the spirit of God draw them. Draw someone today, Lord God, with your spirit. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 This is not a carnal dance. I'm not too smart for man. What's a dance, no man? It's an abnormal dance. Yo! <laughs> Um, yo, you have moves. Yo, Jason, you have moves, bro. You have moves. <laughs> Miss say you have moves. <laughs> Mrs. Mighty Blessings, you are teaching well. <laughs> if you know, say God do something for you right now. Come on, no. Party crowd like this, see we're party now. Praise the one who broke it and started ya. If you step on me, shoes me laugh it up. No smoke, not about me now fi cop. No look funny, me now fi laugh. Little bit till we are one with autograph. Like fireworks, we launch it up. Like now I use music and launch it up. Christ went to the cross and I'll be off his words. We do mine and stop that. Tell me I told that he danced it up. Tell me I told that he danced it up. Dance up, bro, look at how he danced. Dance how we dirty mine and dance it up. Come on, sister. That's the way you want to. You know what I want to. You know what I want to. You know what I want to. You know what You know what I want to. You know what I want to. You know what I want to. I don't know, Robert is on fire, I don't know. But, you know, before, just take us out with your favorite song. Well, I have many favorite songs, but this one song that stick and stick. Jason, just touch the, um, touch, touch the, um, the microphone again. Go on again. Sorry, my brother. Uh, you hear me now? No, no, same way. Good to go. 
No, no, no. Still no come market. Good now? Hello? Alright, we try, we try that. Go on with that. Alright, there's a song I have called God is for you. Um, it's one of my favorite books, a testimony behind it. Somebody's gonna sing a piece like, If God is for you, who can be against you? If God is for you, in your turns and can go wrong. If God is for you, who can be against you? If God is for you, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Perfect way to end this interview. If God is for you, who can be against you? And that is the word that we're taking out. Taking, out, we're gonna take us out this evening. If God is for you, who can, who be, can be against you? We serve a strong, powerful God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. So, my brother, I just want to thank you so much. It was a privilege and honor and a blessing to have you with us this evening. And I just I just want to just bless you up and as you continue your musical journey, just continue to just walk with God. Don't do nothing without Him. I mean. As a, as, a, as a songwriter says, you know, go, you know, do what it is that you have to do. Yeah. <clears throat> so that God can Straight. be glorified. Amen. Amen. I just want to bless you guys and listen to me. I want to tell you guys before I go quickly, I really love the ministry. I love uh, OD, you and your husband together working in unity. You know, we are strong believer in marriage and, and, and the kingdom of God and togetherness. And uh, it's, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be big, right? You got to keep going. You know, um, struggle is going to come. Adversity is going to come. Must keep going because whatever the Lord start, he's going to finish it. Amen. 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 So receive Amen. that word and let's keep going. To God Bless be the glory. Thanks to God be the glory. Blessing you, Jason. Bless up, my man.